Stace. Today we are working on layout number 14 in our family album Cricut Cartridge Series and today we are working on a pizza night layout. The only thing I really did here was change the colors. All right, let's go to the computer and we will get started. Alrighty, at the computer you want to go to cricut.com slash design. You will see this screen upper left hand corner where it says account. Click on that to sign in. Enter in your email and your password. When you see your name in that green box that verifies that you were logged in. You want to come down here and click on where it says create new project. Left hand side toolbar, click on insert images. We're going to change this from all images to cartridges. In the search box, type in the word family. This will bring up the family album cartridge. Click on view all images. I'm going to go to the right hand side under the funnel and click on the four squares to make the images larger. Now we're going to scroll down and find the pizza layout. It is right there. Go ahead and click on that. Bottom right, click on insert images. So we have the layout piece there. Left hand side toolbar, click on set canvas. In the search box, type in the word basic. This will bring up basic shapes. Go ahead and click on those. On the right hand side toolbar, click on canvas. Here you can change the size of paper you are using as well as the color. I'm using a light blue, so I'll pick that one. In the bottom left hand corner of design space, I'm going to click on the minus sign one time so I can see the entire canvas. Bring my layout piece in the upper left hand corner. Use the arrow keys to make that be as big as I can. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and choose ungroup. And the only thing I'm really changing here are the layouts or the colors and the sizes. So this piece here, I want that to be a photo mat. I have that piece selected. I'm going to go to the right hand side toolbar, click on edit. I'm going to make this be 4.25. That way that'll hold a 4x4 photo. And the same for that one. Have that selected and change the size of that one to be 4.25 as well. All right, now I want to go to my sync panel. I want these two white pieces to be the same color yellow. So I'm going to find them over here and drag them to the yellow layer. And again, there'll be a photo mat. Then we have a cream color here, a cream color here, and a cream color behind the word pizza. I want all them to be the same color, so I'll grab this one and drag it to that one. All that looks pretty good. Let me see the size of this piece. Have that selected. Go to the right-hand side toolbar under Edit. All right, this looks like it's 1.55 in width by 11.41 in height. I do want to cut it out on an 11-inch piece of paper, so I'm going to unlock the lock make this piece be 11 inches tall and I'll make the width be 1.5. That looks pretty good so I can go ahead and take that piece and I'll just cut that out of my trimmer. I know I need two yellow pieces that are both four and a quarter by four and a quarter so I can remove those as well. All right top toolbar click on go. Right, so we have the black layer there, a light gray color for the arrow, our red, our cream color and also the yellow. We're going to click on go, cut all these out with the table, and put our layouts together. Okay, here we have all of our pieces. I'm going to set all these guys aside and work on layering these two together. I'm using art glitter glue from maymaymadeit.com. Right, we're going to lay that yellow on top of that black. Lines with the Pittsburgh Steelers, who played horrible last weekend, right? All right, so that's going to go here, that's going to go here. Then we have our arrow piece. They're going to get layered together. Okay, then we have the pizza itself. That's going to get right here. And what I'm going to do is flip this over since I got a big old glue glob right there. All right. Back in business. Nobody knows we had a glue glob. All right, that's going to go here. Our arrow is going to go here. Then we have the lettering. Now, I need to look at the picture here so I can see how this goes. 
And I'm actually going to use my sticker maker because there's a lot of letters here. Alright, so let's go ahead and run the P through. And I'm just using the, um, know, the two inch, I guess, or one and a half inch, whatever this one is. Okay, so we have like this. Oh, we have much easier. Okay, so we have that. Then we have the letter I. And that's going to go right here. Let's do our two Z's so they can run them through at the same time. I want to make sure they're going the right way though. is quicker or not than using my glue. Definitely not as messy. Okay, let's get this guy down here. Then you just kind of have to rub it on the top because you have them, the glue I'll just have to take my teaser remover and grab all that. Okay, so we have that one. All right, this one I'm actually going to try gluing it regular. Let's see. So this title's not too horribly big. Wait to see the pictures I took. Oh my gosh, they are horrible. Yeah, the other night, I guess it was, um, let's say. Today's Friday, I'm filming this. You guys are seeing it on a Saturday. I guess it was Tuesday. Was it Tuesday? I think it was Tuesday. I was out, Hubby was at work, and I had planned on having chicken for dinner. And um, when I came home, we had no water. Like the water was just off. I was like, well, I can't do chicken, you know, with no water. So, um, you know, thank goodness we had like one of them frozen pizzas in the freezer. And um, it's like one of them personal sizes. It's not like a real big fancy pizza or anything. Um, so I thought, okay, we'll just have that, you know? And um, so I told my husband, okay, so, well, since we're having pizza, I might as well make my um, pizza layout for my family album. He's like, okay. So I told him to take a picture of himself eating pizza. So he did, but he took a, you know, like a selfie kind of thing. And his, if here's the, if here's the, pic, the thing, his face is like right here. He's got all this empty space. I don't think you could have at least centered your head in there. He said, what about you? I'm like, I look like crap. I ain't taking a selfie with me eating pizza, you know? So I was like, well, if you don't, I'm not going to give you mine. So I had to go and do my own selfie, and I looked horrible. And I look, you'll see it. I look really, really bad. But it's okay. All right, so we have those on there. All right, then we have our mats, our photo mats. I just did them in yellow. I like the yellow, blue, and brown together. All right, so how am I gonna do this? We're gonna take this guy and glue him down. I'm just using my ATG gun. I get asked a lot about this. Um, this is called an advanced tape glider. I got mine a while back from Michaels, and I did use a coupon. I wanna say it was $29.99 when I bought it. And I think I'm gonna pop this up. And I'm also gonna pop that pizza up as well. All right, so let's go ahead and grab these guys. Yeah, it was $29.99 using a coupon, one of the 40% off coupons. And I want to say it came with two rolls of tape, I think. Okay, now, our word pizza is going to go inside there. This arrow is going to go behind here and kind of point... Okay, the arrow has to go up higher. I'm actually going to journal right here on the layout. You guys can see that. I'm going to journal right here. As long as I didn't leave myself a journaling spot. I could put the pizza here and do another one here. 
I don't know what size this is, but I can, let's see. This is three and a half by four and a quarter. I want to make it be like maybe three and a half by three and a half. We'll do that real quick. Three and a half. Okay. Now it's a lot of yellow going on, but I'll have a photo here and a photo here, and then I need white to journal. Okay. So it's going to take the backing. So I give all these guys a squish and take the backing off. Now the one nice thing with this cartridge, only you know you and I know what the layouts are supposed to look like, but in the album, if somebody's just looking at our album, they have no idea how it's supposed to look. So any kind of change you add to it, nobody will know. All right, so I'm gonna bring that down. Don't make it crooked. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go crook on that one, and we'll just glue these guys flat down. Yeah. I'm going to go the other way with this one. I don't want to go in that brown. I'm going to have to go on it anyway, though. Oh, maybe yeah, there we go. I kind of like it. Catty wonkies. All right, you ready for the photos? <laughs> All right, this is the photo of the pizza. Not too bad, although I did overcook it. You know you overcook pizza when the dogs are not interested. You know, they usually mooch if you're drinking a glass of water, they're right there. Can I have some? And there was no mooching with the pizza, so... I don't know which way is up or which way is down, but I guess it doesn't really matter here. Alright, so we have... that. And then this, there we go. Look at my husband. He's way down here and all of that. I'm like, you could have put your head here. And then there's me. Yeah, we were not enjoying the pizza, as you can tell. So I did overcook it a little bit. And I just um, use that in my pick frame app on my phone to make it a three by three and then kind of put each photo on the half. So yeah, there's me and him and there's the pizza. So not the best pizza and we're gonna go, yeah, we'll put that one up there. And these we're gonna go straight, I think. Just kind of lining up with the left on that one. And on this one, I want my, oh, I forgot my arrow. I'm going to bring that in here too. Okay, that's going to work out really good. All right, so then this. Now if I try lining it up with that, I'm going to be off. So I'm going to go purposely over here, pretty close to the edge. I should up higher. Okay, and then we'll pop this guy right there. Oops. Okay, I think there's enough on his, this one. Well, I guess I might as well use them all since we got them all in here. Okay, give these guys a squish. Okay, we're gonna plop this. over here I think. Yeah, okay, we're gonna put that there. Now do I pop this guy up? Is to put glue down here and I'll just add my journaling on a piece of white cardstock. Alright, so I want to make sure this goes to this. So I'm actually gonna put this like this I think. A little bit of the brown showing. I'm gonna leave room for my journaling though. Okay, so we're going to plop this guy down, and then plop this one down. And I can use my ATG gun for that as well. Alright, so I'm going to lay it down, but not all the way. I'm actually going to lay it down. I've put one of these under it, because I have to go back under there with my white paper. So I'll just put that there so it doesn't go there. But there you have it, my friends. That's what the finished layout looks like, minus the um, journaling. Not hardly bad, right? Pretty simple. All right, guys, any questions at all, let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.